Let's start off with a little bit of Thursday night football as the Central Catholic of Morgan City Eagles host St. John of Plaquemines Eagles. Chris Singleton finds a crease and gains about 17 yards on the play. Bailey Battle takes the handoff, but he can't find much room. This is excellent defense by the Eagles of St. John. On the next play, Bailey Bado is up the middle for 10 and a Central Catholic first down. Chris Singleton goes untouched for one of his three touchdowns on the day. The St. John ball carry is stuffed by a host of Eagles. As the quarterback tries to make a pitch and fumbles, and it is scooped up by Tyler O'Conn of Central Catholic. Fumble on the play, recovered by the Central Catholic Eagles blank St. John's 30 to zero. Chris Singleton had 18 rushes for 85 yards and three touchdowns. Bado also had 17 rushes for 113 yards. The Eagles defense held St. John to 18 total yards of offense. Nine rushing and nine passing. And they also forced two turnovers and had five sacks. Up next for the Eagles, Opelousas Catholic. Let's take a look at our scoreboard. In the swamp, HL Bourgeois pitches a shutout against South Terrebonne. The Braves move on to 1-0 on the season and will face Ellender at home next week. South Terrebonne will look to rebound next week against Terrebonne in the swamp. And Matthews, Central Lafushi raced a 12-0 halftime deficit to race past Patterson. Central will travel to Buddy Marcello Stadium to battle the Vanderbilt Terriers. Patterson will host Hanville in the Sugar Dome. Thibodeau could not get past the comments of St. Charles Catholic in reserve. The Tigers will host a talented East Ascension team that is playing with a lot of emotion after the recent floods affected parts of Gonzales. Assumption lost a close game against their up the bayou rival Donisonville. Assumption will travel out west to square off against the St. Martinville Tigers on Friday. Tri-City rivals Berwick and Morgan City squared off with the Panthers coming out on top 21-0. The Tigers were without the services of athlete Makai Richard who tore his MCL during the Jamboree against Patterson. Morgan City will host Sophie Wright and Berwick will host Abbeville next Friday. Bonneville traveled down the bayou to Galliano and left defeated. The Tarpons beat the Bruins pretty handedly. South Lafouche plays host to Carver on Friday. Let's pick up with a little Friday night action as we start off in Thibodeau at Harvey Pelche Memorial Stadium at Yaki Bernard Field to witness the annual holy war between the Edie White Cardinals and the Vanderbilt Terriers. Vanderbilt will receive the opening kickoff, setting the stage for sophomore quarterback Andrew Robinson and the Terrier offense. Robinson with the swing pass to junior tailback Brennan Rogers for a decent game. Robinson drops back and underthrows his receiver and gets picked off by Edie White's Lane Gravois. The Edie White quarterback connects with Brandon Lejeune who picks up huge yardage and steps out at the Vanderbilt 31. This drive would stall. Vanderbilt has first and 10 on the Edie White's 31 yard line. But Roberson takes a hit as he releases the ball and connects with Roland Johnson for a 69 yard touchdown. Extra point no good. Edie White's Hayden Torturich carries the ball around the left end and is tackled by Brennan Porsche. Edie White will go three and out. Vanderbilt now has the ball first and 20 on their 26 when Robison is hit and appears to fumble the ball, but the official called it incomplete, much to the disappointment of the Edie White coaching staff.
The first play of the second quarter, Roberson connects with the receiver for a gain of 37 yards down to the Edie White's 13-yard line. A couple of plays later, Rodgers finds the end zone. The extra point was good and the Terriers went up 13 to 0. Edie White was finally able to sustain a drive and face the third and four on the Vanderbilt's five yard line. Lejeune puts Edie White on the board with 321 left in the second quarter. The extra point was good. Vanderbilt will go into halftime with a 13-7 lead. Now for the stats. The West St. Giant Rams made the short trip down Highway 3127 to face off against the St. James Wildcats in the railroad rivalry. It was a good thing it was a short trip. The Wildcats had it their way and cruised to a 33-8 victory. St. James hosts Bogalusa next week. CCA traveled to Opelousas to face off with the Crusaders of Westminster Academy and fell short 20-14. They play host to Archbishop Hannon in week two. Year one of the David McCormick era at Ellender as they travel to the west side to face off against the Terrebonne Titans. We pick up the action in the second half. Ellender's linebacker might with the stuff in a goal-to-goal -go situation. Down 24-13, Ellender's D-line stands up Terrebonne's running back. Terrebonne's Dylan Bergeron fakes the handoff and keeps it for six. The player of the weekend comes from Ellender's Mott, who also doubles as the puncher. A bad snap forces him to run the ball, and the result is a 69-yard touchdown. On the ensuing kickoff, the Patriots forced the turnover, showing signs of life. But on the very next play, Ellender's quarterback Kobe Poe fumbles and is recovered by Tara Bowles Harris. Later in the game, Poe tries to complete a screen pass and it was picked off by Tara Bowles Morgan, who returns it for a short touchdown. Ellender's Devontavian Martin has six catches for 101 yards and one touchdown. He also had 12 rushes for 122 yards and one touchdown. For Terrebonne, sophomore Keyshawn James had 22 rushes for 151 yards and two touchdowns. Rodgers added nine rushes for 70 yards and one touchdown. Ellender will go on to face H.L. Bourgeois next week at Tom B. Smith Stadium, and Terrebonne will travel to Berg to face off with South Terrebonne. Homer Christian holds down the fort and beats Highland Baptist 25-13. The Warriors will face False River of Point Capi Parish in week two. Lutcher sprints past Dutchtown, 35 to 10. 
Letcher will host West Jeff next Friday. Shut up and sit down.